Hi guys, here's Hyde from Lightning Games, the publisher of Tale of Immortal, and I'm going to give a brief intro about it.、Uh, this, is an, this is an open world game based on Chinese mythology and cultivation. The cultivation here means not growing plants, but refining a body and spirit to become powerful. The game is still in the EA, so you may find it not that complete. But don't be worried; we'll definitely make it better. To start the journey, we must first select difficulty, and each difficulty is unlocked by the progress of former one. In some cases, death can be permanent, and don't even allow save and load strategy. And next, we need to create our character. You can roll it or customize it; it's on your choice. And there are some features will affect the gameplay. Such as charisma and your personality, it will affect how the NPCs go interact with you. The, these NPCs are the cultivator, and they are randomly generated when the game starts. If you are good looking, they tend to be friendly with you. But if you are not, I think you guys know the result. We also have to personalize the status of the character. The destiny represents your background story, and they will also affect your attributes. The martial arts, spiritual roots, and specialization means the talent, means how you're gonna make your build. And this part can be increased in the game, so you can change your build if you want. The combat means.、Uh, Signify the strength of your character, like attack or defense, etc.、Uh, and the general, obviously, means the general ability of your character,、uh, such as wit and luck.、Uh, if you're smart, then then you learn fast and easier.、Uh, but attention, luck and perception cannot be increased in the game permanently, so you may you you may want them to be higher. When you create a character, after the customization, the world is going to generate, and each round of game has a, a relatively different map layout, and the NPC is going to be different too. And here comes the game. Let's see what's going to happen here. Seems like these two people are arguing, and and here comes the dragon. Track them both. Okay. What I need to do next is to decide if I'm going to save them or kill them. But obviously, helping people will let them like you, so I just help them. By helping people, you can get the recommendation letter of the sect he 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 or she's in. And with the letter, we can directly pin the sect out in the world map. It can become very convenient. The world map is made up by a lot of boxes, and each boxes there is a chance to run into special adventure events, etc. The battle system of the game is based on bullet hell. So in the further gameplay, in the late gameplay, you may need to face those crazy bullet ring from bosses, but obviously not now. And the ring is like a bag; you can put things in it. This is how thing goes in Chinese cultivation story. It can also prevent stealing. And here comes the core part, the cultivation. You can find those areas with blue qi in it and cultivate yourself to refine your body and spirit to become stronger. But if you and you will reach the limit if there's enough qi in you, and in this case, you will need.、Uh, Accessory to break through, like elixir and treasures. And here I buy elixirs to break through. 
By breaking through, you can boost your ability points, and also you prolong your lifespan to allow you play longer in this round of game. The pavilion, we can find manual to learn. These manuals can let us have martial arts, spiritual skills, and special skills, ultimate, etc., uh, to become stronger. And when it comes to learning these manuals, uh, here's a small game, and it has some special meanings concerning the cultivation culture. When you are learning something, you have opposite a positive idea and negative ideas. You need to e erase the negative one and embrace the positive one. This this is how it goes here. R left click the blue one and right click the red one. Like I said, the world map is composed by boxes, and in each box there's a chance to trigger special side quests if your attribute is enough. You need to choose carefully to get what you want. Like this time, I get a mm, special skill a manual from it. There are towns and cities spread across the, the map that you can find facility in it to help you travel. Like in tavern, you can drink alcohol to get special effects. In the auction house, you may trade with other NPCs to get what you want, money or stuffs. And in the inn, you can rest yourself up to recover from injury and tiresome. In, in the market, you can buy what you want, like elixir to break through. And you also can make your own elixir from this facility. You can combine the treasure to break through, and also you can forge your own artifacts to help you fight. And the pavilion, like I mentioned before, is where we buy manual to learn skills. And some pavilion may need your repetition to be high enough. And the tree vault is where you stock your stuff that you don't want them in your bag when your bag is not that big enough. And a bounty board allows you to gain money and also repetition needed to buy uh, manual from pavilion. If you don't like the menu in the pavilion, you can try to join a certain sect which uh, specialize in certain build. You can see it from the requirement. And I don't like this one, so I just try to switch to another sect. With the recommendation letter, you can just simply teleport to it. It's convenient then. You know, I like this one. I will try to apply for it. And I meet the requirement too. This is only the first step to apply for it. You also need to pass the entry competition to officially enter the sect. You can prepare for it uh, in two or three months, but like learning new skills and trying to break, break into realms, but I'll just keep it to make it faster. And finally, the competition. 
To win the match, you need to fight those cultivators or NPCs generated automatically and randomly when the game starts. Each will have its own abilities and special uh, traits. Like this one, he used fire. I highly recommend you guys to prepare for it, otherwise you are going to lose it if you are not that lucky, like me. And by clicking the name, the blue one, you can check your opponent's abilities and uh, attributes. Oh, this one. This one used knife or blade. It's a complete close battle build, so she can touch me. It's lucky, because it seems like she deals tons more damage than, damage than me. Oh, that's it. If I'm, if I'm not careful enough, I'm going to lose this. Got you, homie. It was close. And the final round comes. I don't need to win them all. The second place can enter the can enter the, the sect also. This one's use fist build. This build can block damage. Quite endurable, and also it, it deals a lot of damage. And also, it's a close, uh, it's a close combat build. So I'll just try the same strategy, and I think I can win it. Oh, oh no! She got, she got, she got his ultimate. I don't even learn mine, so <laughs> I don't think I don't think that's quite possible to win it. Uh, yeah, that's it. But don't worry, you can still in go into the sect, join the sect, if you win the second prize. When you are officially enter a sect, uh, you can try the, the the people in it is going to be familiar with you, and you can try to like interact with them, like sending gifts, having small talks, debate, something else like this. I'll give it a try now. When every month ends, it will be an end month process. Uh, the world is going to evolve, and during the period, the NPC is going to interact with you. Those who like you will try to date you, and those who I hate you would try to kill you. And after the world is fully evolved, the map and the NPC is going to change according to the result. Even without the player playing, um, the world is still going to evolve, and the NPC there is the, the story of them keep going on. The sect also have many uh, facilities to help you grow, like mission hall. You can uh, have mission here to gain resources. The hospital will help you recover from your injury and tiresome. Uh, the cultivation chamber will let you cultivate without blue chi. And the treasure pavilion can buy fruits, special fruits to boost your talent, to make you change your build or persist in your own build. And here's the build attributes, as you can see. And the manual library here will allow you to buy manual of certain builds. You can concentrate now. Here's a vault you can store things to. And the, mid the console hall will let you get your salary annually. Uh, what's next? Oh, you can... Oh, yeah, that's it. Uh, you can also get promoted to get higher salary and unlock, unlock more manual to buy. Now oh, I almost forget, you can also attack uh, 
other NPCs to get the stuff or steal from them, but you can get hated by them, of course. After joining a sect, your game in Tale of Immortal officially starts. And here's I will left you guys to explore what's going on next. I will try to show you a glimpse of how the late game is going to be like. Find different mounts from the from the world to help you travel faster across the map. And the map is going to be huge and there will be a lot of places that you need to explore. Also, in the late games, uh, the market won't be able to sell the elixir you need because they are too high level. Uh, the common people won't be able to make it, so you need to try to make the elixir you need yourself. It's also a quite interesting gameplay that you need to choose the suitable approval uh, material and try to make the, the elixir better to help yourself with a good opportunity to break through the realms you need. With the elixir you made and the uh, treasure you found in the dungeon by defeating bosses, you can break through Major Realm, which will let you change your destiny for once. This rewrite destiny will help you fight stronger, learn faster, or even build a relationship with NPC easier. Also, they will give you higher attributes and prolong your lifespan. We also have an artifact spirit system can let you uh, have an artifact spirit in your artifact. There are uh, special NPCs which can interact with you and help you fight by, by going through the special dungeon, you can have them. And also, each artifact spirit has its own personality and uh, like hobbits. You, you need to give them gifts to build your relationship between each other. And there will also be special quests that allows you to fight along with special NPCs against huge bosses. And in late game there will be many huge and special bosses waiting for you to challenge them. There are, all, there are still a lot of stuff waiting for you guys to try. So don't hesitate, just try it. You, I think you guys will like it. As you can see, the Tale of Immortal is still in uh, early access status. So there will be a lot of bugs and problems waiting for us to find and fix. But we promise you guys, we will make it better and we won't stop updating until it's a complete game. Please trust us and I hope you guys can enjoy it. Thank you guys for your watch and your time. And that's all for today. Thank you again.